Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida here atop the Carry On 5x8 trailer, the third in a series of videos we've been doing uh, in collaboration with Carry On about trailering, trailering safety, but the most important thing for you is that you can actually win this or its brother, the 5x8 steel floor or mesh floor trailer, and all you have to do is stick around to the end of the video to find out how. What is tongue weight? Well, think of it this way. You've got two wheels that carry most of the load of the trailer, right? But then you've also got where it connects to the truck. Now, the wheels don't take up all of the weight. Some of it is transferred to the tongue. Now, in a perfect world, you're going to have 10 to 15 percent of whatever you're towing, cargo and trailer, 10 to 15 percent converted to tongue weight. Less than that, and you're going to have a bad time handling more than that, and your truck is going to squat, your vehicle is going to have bad ride characteristics. How would you ever measure that? Well, I've got a special ball hitch by Waysafe that actually has a gauge built in. This is not sponsored. I did get sent one for my Chevy Colorado that they sent me, I didn't buy. When it came time to upgrade the truck, I bought this one. This was about $400. You'll notice it's huge. It's got this huge shank with all these different holes. If you're curious about that, stay tuned for next week's video. We're going to talk about drop hitches, what they are, and why you might need one. But for now, all you need to know is that Waysafe actually has a gauge built in where the ball sits that measures your tongue weight for you. Right here is the gauge that will read your tongue weight as measured right underneath the ball of this. So here we have our 48 inch Bobcat stand on mower and we're going to go ahead and load it up and see what that does to our tongue weight. And it looks like our tongue weight is actually a little closer to 200 pounds. Doesn't it look that way? So with about a 900 pound mower and a 400 pound trailer, that's about 1300 pounds. 10 to 15 percent would be what? 130 to uh, a little under 200 pounds. So being close to 200 pounds of tongue weight is not terrible. That's about where we should be. Let's see what happens though if we just back this mower up a few inches. We've got the same weight in the trailer. The mower hasn't changed weight, the trailer hasn't changed weight. All we've done is shift that positioning back. What has that done to our tongue weight? Let's take a look. So as you can see we are under a hundred pounds of tongue weight. And the distance from zero to a hundred is so big that I have no clue what we are actually at. Maybe 70 or 80 pounds of tongue weight. What that means is that if we are going for a goal of 10 to 15 percent of the total weight that we are extremely under. And that's very dangerous because what this is going to cause us to do is when we get at highway speeds we're going to have sway in our trailer. And if we go even faster that swaying or rocking is going to turn into whipping, which we could very quickly lose control of this trailer, lose everything, depending on how big your trailer is, flip your entire car. Lots of bad things happen when you have too little tongue weight. If you have to pick one, too little or too much tongue weight, it's better to have too much because while that will make your ride characteristics of your tow vehicle suffer, uh, you eliminate the possibility of swaying when you have too much weight to the rear of the trailer. One other thing to consider when you've got something like a mower or a lawn tractor is where is most of the weight? Now with this stand on, your weight is pretty much centered in the middle of the machine. With something like a lawn tractor that's much longer and you've got the engine very decidedly in the front of the machine, that can affect how you load things as well because you're going to want to make sure that more weight is towards the front of the trailer rather than the rear. So now you know everything there is to know about tongue weight and you say, Brad, all I really care about is winning that sweet trailer. How do I do it? Well, all the information is down in the description. Sorry, I know you don't like to read when you're on YouTube. You're here to watch, but that's where all the information is. Again, this is a series of videos, so if you'd like to stay updated when they come out, please consider subscribing. Here is a link to the full playlist, 
here is a link to the next video whenever it comes out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.